Doris Allmeyer, like most parents, has a great love for her children, all six in fact. But there's a hole in her heart. Her youngest, Darcy Norman, died last year. She did have an aneurysm of the brain, and there was no hope. Paramedics told Allmeyer her daughter likely died before she even completed falling to the ground after the aneurysm. Now Allmeyer holds this photo of Darcy tighter than ever before. I look at the picture and I miss her. That's all I can say is I miss her. As Allmeyer was making plans that no parent ever wants to make, planning a funeral for their child, something almost like a miracle happened. I still couldn't get over it for a long time that she had done this without saying anything to me. Darcy, turns out, was an organ donor. We just happened to interview her last year on an unrelated story. Now Darcy's life on Earth is over, her body far from it. It brings me a closure that I know she's still giving and she's still kind of around. Allmeyer comes here several times a week. It's the Mulvane Cemetery where Darcy was laid to rest, usually putting flowers on her grave. Now, Darcy made the decision herself to be an organ donor, but if you choose to be an organ donor, it's recommended that you talk it over with your family sooner rather than later. But then to tell your family about it, you know, so they're not caught off guard. Nobody really likes to talk about those end of life decisions, but it's so important to, to do that before it before it happens. Brooke Connell works for the donor registry that serves Kansas and Western Missouri Midwest Transplant Network. In their area of care, 2,000 people waiting for an organ donation and more waiting for tissue donations. Donation does come from a tragedy, uh, but it's it's a great gift to show that something good can happen from a tragedy. While there are some with fears of being an organ donor, one in particular, doctors overlooking saving your life in order to harvest your organs for donation, Connell says that is a myth. You know, medical professionals, they're there to save your life. That's their number one goal. They don't care about anything else. It's almost been a year now since Darcy died. Oh, sometimes I sit there and cry because I miss her. Why not? Darcy's decision, albeit a surprise to Allmeyer, is one that brings closure. Somewhere along the line, she's there with someone else. So she's walking the street somewhere in somebody else. Allmeyer has made the choice. She doesn't want to know who has organs or tissue donated from Darcy, but she knows Darcy made the right choice. In Mulvane, Brian Ramsdale, Cake News.